An unexpected number of young people have been hit hard by the coronavirus nationwide. And tonight, health officials wonder whether vaping could be partly to blame. Eight on your side, investigative reporter Masa Saidi is in the newsroom tonight. Masa say, Masa, some are saying this is the time to quit vaping. Yeah, definitely right now is the time to quit. Stacy. some young people get coronavirus and they're totally fine, but others get extremely sick and even die. Tonight, researchers are just starting to look at the connection between vaping and this disease. I think most moms think my kid's not doing it. But Barbara Burns says her sons were vaping. Tonight, as this pandemic grips Florida, Burns is concerned about the long-term impact of e-cigarettes on her children's health. Are you curious whether that increases their risk for getting seriously sick? It literally, it's haunted me. If they get it, you know, if they get this thing, are their lungs already compromised? COVID-19 enters into the body through the lungs and elicit a huge immune response. Sammy Nojame has a PhD. He's an associate professor at USF's Morsani College of Medicine, and he's studying the effect of vaping on cardiac function. The experiments that we have conducted in the laboratory have clearly shown that uh, vaping is, is bad uh, for the heart. Nojame's finding that vaping compromises cardiac function is relevant. It's believed those with heart issues face an increased risk for coronavirus complications. But what about the lungs? We know COVID-19 attacks your respiratory system. While research there is limited, Nojame says there's reason to be concerned. Vaping could affect the lungs and could affect the immune system and could affect um, the heart. And even if the person is young and gets infected with uh, COVID-19, they might show very, very bad symptoms. Also, when you're vaping, you're constantly touching your face to use that product. So just think about it. That increases the possibility of spread of this virus. And Stacy, tonight, officials in Massachusetts are urging everyone to stop vaping and also to stop smoking. Boy, so many things you, you brought up there, things I hadn't thought about. But I know a lot more research has been done about the health impacts of smoking versus vaping. Tobacco products do damage your lungs. So what are researchers saying about coronavirus risks there? So smoking is bad for your immune system. I spoke with a doctor and he tells me that it also causes airway inflammation. So definitely smoking is going to increase the chance of you getting more sick with COVID-19. All right, good information. Masa Saidi, live in the newsroom. Thank you.